Hello, welcome back. Today I'm talking about gradient descent algorithm. There are three different types of gradient descent algorithms: the stochastic, the batch, and the mini batch. The gradient descent algorithm is an iterative algorithm to find a global minimum of an object function. This algorithm is widely used in machine learning for minimization of functions. In these algorithms, we calculate the derivative of the cost function in every iteration and update the values of parameters simultaneously using this formula. The, op the object of this algorithm is to find the this global minimum as you can see in this graph. First of all we are going to talk about the stochastic. The stochastic gradient descent turns out to be faster than the batch so it's widely used. However it has a low accuracy and you need to make more iterations to get to the mi minimum. You need to update uh, it every every time you loop through the data set. This is the loss function. Y represents the label for the data, the supposed result that it had to have, and X represents the the prediction of our model or neural network. We ha we we square the difference and divide by di divide it by two, and the derivative is very easy, and it's it's this. Uh, the next thing we're going to see is the batch gradient descent. As we need to calculate the gradients on the whole data set to perform just one update, batch descent can be very slow, and is in intractable for datasets that don't fit in memory. It turns out to be slower but it, it, is high, it has a high accuracy. I, you only need to update it once and the loss function is more complex than, than the stochastic gradient and you, you need to sum all the, all the differences between the the target and the real output and the derivative is the same. The minimax gradient descent is is a mix from the two gradient descents we, we've seen before. It's faster, it's high accuracy and you update it on uh, every ma mini batch size. A mini batch algorithm is the most favorable, favorable, and widely used algorithm that makes precise and faster results using the batch of n training examples. In mini batch algorithm, rather than using the complete data set, in every iteration we use the set, the set of n, n training examples. So it's better for for a rapid compu compu computation. So to sum up, we have the three types of of gradient descents: the stochastic, the mini batch, and the batch. B and the most used algorithm is the mini batch. So l thank you for watching it, and see you in the next video.